Elizabeth Town Council. May I have a roll call, please, by the town clerk? Chairman Carson? Here. Councilor Berry? Here. Councilor Fritz? Here. Councilor Watson? Here. Councilor McGinty? Here. Councilor Roberts? Here. Councilor Swift Kayata? Here. Representative Rowe? Here. Thank you. Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Reports and correspondence from Council. <clears throat> Councillor Barry. Um, as chairman of the uh, historical uh, study committee, I have submitted the final report to um, the town manager and, the, and uh, Maureen O'Mara, and we have completed our, our work on that study committee. Thank uh, you. That, mm, go ahead. What Sorry. were you going to say? I was going to say it becomes public so that public can get right. it once I, it's prepared. I, I think, does it go on the web? On the website? It will, but it, 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 usually we don't do that until the council has first seen it. We have seen it, yeah. It right. just came in sometime today, so. Oh. I was going to say it will become public. We'll, okay. we'll give it to the council probably on Wednesday evening when you next come in if you'd like to pray to me. Okay. Just, just came. I could even get it now if you'd like to. Mm, sorry. Right. That's okay. And um, what else is coming on? Something else? Uh, our own uh, Councillor John McGinney is a candidate for the legislature, and we're proud of him. <laughs> Thank you. We're not going to mix politics for the town council meeting, oh, Councillor Barry. I, th I thought the town council had something to do with politics. Uh, no, not in this Pardon. town. Not in this town. <laughs> uh, any other reports and correspondence, please? Yes. Councillor Roberts. Madam Chairman, I've got four issues I'd like to, or items that you bring up. Mm -hmm. One, uh, this past Thursday night, I went to the... Uh, Cape Elizabeth Middle School, and just saw it gone with the breeze, and it was hilarious. They had about 140 kids that were involved in this program. They did a fantastic job. The, the girl that was the, had a lead singing position was, was super. Uh, Councillor Swift Kayata's daughter was in it, I might add, and she did very well also. Thank you. Um, when I went over, I had this invitation that I assume everybody got, and it was, I went to the door, it said, sold out, no seats available. So I said, all right, I wasn't going to pull rank. I started walking back to my car and uh, met the, the Bloods. And they said, where are you going? I said, well, I don't have a ticket. So thank you to uh, the Bloods. They, uh, they gave me an extra ticket they had, and I got to see it. Also went to the uh, meeting that the uh, Secretary of State had down in South Portland on the census. The one I forgot? <laughs> the one you forgot. <laughs> And Cape Elizabeth is doing very well, percentage-wise, compared to the rest of the state, but the state as a whole is doing awful. And it really is important, if you haven't gotten your uh, notice in to the Census Bureau, to get that in, because it does make a difference on the monies that the, uh, the state and the communities can receive from the federal government. I also want to just report that uh, I have been appointed by the, the chairman to uh, be on the playground committee. They have met twice. They are reviewing where the different playscapes are, what kind of shape they're in, what needs to be replaced, where it may be moved to if they don't like the particular location, and how they're going to go about funding it. And finally, um, at a recent budget review session, uh, Ernie McVean mentioned that he had quite a, a program going over there. So I stopped in to see uh, him and Mary and they, uh, they really do have a, an outstanding program. I asked if he'd give me a little written uh, one paragraph. Well, Ernie didn't, it's a full page, but I'm, I'm gonna just read his last paragraph because I think it does state it very well, better than I could. The facilities department tracks all maintenance work performed and costs incurred for the town, all town facilities. The information collected is extensive and used to monitor labor costs and material purchases system-wide. I compare vendor costs for similar work performed and have the ability to track wholesale pricing for all trades. I've been able to reduce my supply inventory, thus keeping my operations costs down. Warranties are easily tracked, allowing staff inspections prior to warranty expiration. The programs provide complete comprehensive list of all contracted services. I rely on this information and use it to bid services for town-wide contracts rather than facility-specific and have realized significant savings. Uh, then if I desired more information, they're more than willing to give it to me. I think Mary is the one that keeps him in line over there. She does a fantastic job for eight hours a week. The town is really getting their money's worth out of the two of them. 
and I would encourage anybody to go over and speak with them and see that program. And I'll share my letter with the town clerk so she can pass it along to the rest of the council. Thank you. And I only gave all four of those I knew it was a short meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Are there any other reports and correspondence from council? Okay, moving on to the town manager's report. Yes, I don't have anything specific, Madam Chairman, except to mention that the town council will be again meeting on Wednesday evening, uh, first as, as the finance committee, committee of the whole, under the leadership of Councillor Ruth McClary Watson, and then following the report of the finance committee, there'll be a town council meeting, at which point you will determine amounts to set for public hearing, or have the option of determining amounts set for public hearing uh, on the uh, municipal school and other budgets. Uh, it'll be a regular council meeting following that. It will not be televised. It generally is not that meeting, but anyone who uh, the wishes to watch it is welcome to. Uh, the budget process is moving along quite well. The, the one regret, and I think it'll be an issue you'll have to face Wednesday night, is that we may not know at that time still uh, how much the state school subsidy will be. I was looking at the record for last year, and you actually set the public hearing uh, for, and it was looking, it was the tax rate was supposed to be $20.40, and I think it was, and uh, it ended up it was 1986 because the state came through. So the, the precedent was there to set something for a public hearing without yet hearing from the state. But you'll have a chance to look at that on uh, Wednesday night. Okay. okay. Fine. Moving on for citizens discussion of items not on the agenda. We have our council here. I think he doesn't have items not on the agenda. We are now moving to the uh, approval of the minutes of the March 15th meeting. Very extensive minutes. And um, hope you've all read them verbatim. So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded the minutes of the Wednesday, March 15, 2000 meeting be approved as written. All those in favor? Opposed? Thank you. Moving on to item number 111, consideration of the proposed warrant for the municipal election to be conducted on May 2, 2000. I'll turn to town clerk, town clerk, please, for that. The clerk will speak. Uh, we do have an election on Tuesday, May 2nd, is, is the municipal election for council and school board. It would be in order this evening for the council to sign the warrant, notifying the residents of the election at the high school from 7 a.m. until 8 p.m. Councilor McGinty. I move approval of the election warrant for the election to be held at the Cable of the High School Gymnasium on May 2nd, 2000, 7 a.m., close at 8 p.m. Second. Second. Been moved and seconded. All those in favor? Opposed? Thank you. Item number 112, consideration of approval of election clerks recommended by the Democratic and Republican town committees. Again, I'll turn to town clerk. Clerk, please. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> Thank you. In each general election year, the council is required to look at nomination of election clerks from the major political parties. You have in front of you recommendations by the Republican and Democratic town committees, and I would recommend that you approve the nomination of election clerks as presented by the Democratic and Republican town committees. So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any more discussion? All those in favor? Opposed? Thank you. Item number 113. Approval of the acceptance of a utility easement from Scott and Laurie Dorrance and a quit claim deed for the extinguishment of an easement, both on lot U3-22. Are you doing that, Mike? I'd be happy to. Okay. We have that in our packet. Yes. Uh, very pleased that we're proceeding on the uh, third phase of reducing infiltration in the area of Cottage Farms Road, Elmwood Road, Forest Road. Uh, Scott and Laurie Dorrance, who uh, live... Uh, on Elmwood Road have granted us uh, an easement uh, that is exactly where we want to put the sewer line as opposed to the old one which can be extinguished. As you can see the, the new uh, easement is actually wider than the, the old one and will be much more in meeting with our needs and I'd like to thank uh, Mr. and Mrs. Dorrance for, I presume Mr. and Mrs. Dorrance, uh, for providing this uh, this easement and uh, appreciate their cooperation. There was no compensation paid for it, so I uh, particularly appreciate uh, their assistance. So moved. Second. second. It's been moved and seconded. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Opposed? Thank you very much. The motion carries. Item number 114. 
we have to do discussion of items. That, that ends the regular uh, three items that we had on this uh, agenda for this evening. Are there any, we call for any discussion of items not on the agenda from members of the public? And from our student representative? Well, thank you. <laughs> Hearing none, we'll move on to item number 14, consideration of a motion to enter executive session to discuss a legal matter with the town attorney. Um, Council? So this is a private communication between uh, the town attorney and client. It is privileged information. We will uh, discuss this in um, executive session. <laughs> executive session. <laughs> we'll discuss this in executive session and we will not be taking any vote or making any decisions at that time and we will be adjourning after that item. I think this will probably end the television coverage for this evening's meeting. We need a motion. Do we have Madam Chair, I move that we go into executive session to discuss item 114 on the agenda. It's been moved and seconded that we go into ex executive session to discuss item 114. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor? Any opposed? Thank you very much and good evening to members of the public that are watching this. Uh, we will not be back on television as this completes our items for this evening's agenda. Thank you.